Cure, everyone. When was the last time that you thought about that teacher who had a huge influence on your life? I want you to take a moment to think while we hear from Vasu, one of the amazing partners we work with in India. Mrs. Rekha, you're an inspiration to me because uh, you, you never gave up on the situations, on the students and on the, you know, the environment, the kind of environment that you were working in, you still never gave up. You travel almost 12 kilometers a day by foot and go to a very small village in Uttarakhand and still do what you do. So thank you for that. Around the world, too many teachers are undervalued, demotivated, and leaving the profession. I decided I wanted to be a teacher age five, but I have constantly been told, why would you want to do that? You can do so much more. And this infuriates me. You know, and the evidence shows, that teachers are key to improving society and the education for the future generations. We have a global learning crisis where more children now than ever before are in school, but they're not learning. And this is costing us 129 billion a year and undermining our ability to meet the sustainable development goals. My social enterprise, LRTT, Limited Resource Teacher Training, is tackling this problem by building a global teacher movement and bringing teachers together to support each other to connect, to inspire, and motivate each other. By harnessing the power of teachers around the world, teachers are becoming the solution to education and not seen as a problem. To date, we have done this without any external funding. The teachers we recruit as fellows, primarily from the UK, the US, and hopefully more from Australia and New Zealand, self-fund to take part in this program and learn from the teachers they travel to work with. This means that this year, we are recruiting 650 fellows to support 3,000 teachers across 10 countries in the world. This innovative model for teacher training, we believe is very unique, but we can't do it alone, and we really need the partnerships and the people that we work with. And that's why I'm so excited to be returning back to New Zealand, to be settling in Christchurch, and to be working and learning from this amazing community and the people in this room. <clears throat> I have been overwhelmed by the support I have already received and everything that I have learned already. And I can't wait uh, to continue this work. So I'd love to speak to anyone interested in education in New Zealand, in general, or globally, uh, especially with people who would like to work in partnership to support teacher training and to support the future generation. And I just want to finish by sharing the stories of some of the amazing teachers I've had the privilege of working with, but who don't often get the same opportunity that I have had to share their stories. Uh, what I have learned, what I'm taking home and what I'm going to implement is how I will be able to attract my students' attention before I deliver what I have for them. I have really enjoyed every bit of it. I've learned a lot from this place, especially with the phonics, how to blend the sounds of the letters to form a word, teaching them the sounds. I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot. It's, it's been so fun, I'm happy, I'm excited to hear from other parts of the world what they do to train their children, to bring them up very nicely. It's fantastic. So thank you very much and I look forward to speaking with you.